is me, Jyotika Bedi. I'm the founder of Happiness is Love. We make relationships better. Are you aware of the happiness hormones? What do they really mean and how do we boost them? We all want to be happy, don't we? That is a fundamental need for you, for me, for everyone. So the question really is, what are happiness hormones and how do we really boost them? There are four happiness hormones, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin and endorphins and together let's discover natural healthy ways to boost them. Are you ready for this learning ride with me? I'm super excited. Do you know that warm feeling when you cuddle a puppy or the feel-good effect after an intense and rewarding workout? That's your brain releasing many chemical components. These hormones have the power to improve and enhance our mood, our sleep, and even strengthen our social bonds. I want to talk about these happiness hormones because it takes action and it takes very little action to actually achieve boosting these hormones without taking any medication. Before we get started, I thought it would be interesting for us to just pause and check in with ourselves and ask, how are you really feeling today? This morning, I'm feeling very, very buoyant today because I am making this video with, to share with you whatever I have understood, learned and applying in my everyday lives to boost these hormones. So a little bit of definition. Before talking about happiness hormones, it is important to understand what hormones are and how they are produced. The endocrine system works together with the nervous system to influence many aspects of our human behavior. Hormones are simply chemicals produced by different glands in your body. They are chemical messengers and travel through the bloodstream to tissues or organs. Hormones work slowly over time, impacting various different processes, for example, growth and development, metabolism, reproduction, sexual functioning, and our mood. And that's why hormones are powerful chemicals that can lead to big changes in our bodies, which means that even a small amount of a hormone can have a big, profound effect on our body's functions, either positive or negative. So again, what are these happiness hormones? When you do things that make you feel good, such as connecting with a friend or eating ice cream, your brain releases what scientists call the happy hormones. These hormones got their nickname because of the positive feelings that they generate. These happy hormones are, like I shared, dopamine, which helps you feel pleasure and is involved in the brain's reward system. Serotonin, which helps us boost our mood and regulate our sleep. Oxytocin, which is produced when we bond with others and often called the love hormone. And then we have the endorphins, which are nicknamed as the brain's natural pain reliever. These feel-good hormones promote happiness, pleasure, and boost our positive emotions. It's only natural for us to keep seeking pleasure when these hormones are released. They are quickly metabolized, which means, which makes us feel addicted to them. I'm literally addicted to these hormones because these are natural, healthy ways to boost our happiness, to boost our health and our well-being. So I want to now share with you on how to boost the happiness hormone dopamine. Dopamine can not only provide an intense feeling of reward, but also enhance the expectation of pleasure. The dopamine hormone basically drives your brain reward system and influences motivation. I'm in the motivation space and people ask me, what do you do? I'm like, I feel dope because I am forever boosting my dopamine hormone. The marathon runner gets a surge of dopamine when she crosses the finishing line. You get a dopamine rush when you eat those warm cookies or when you finish a satisfying work assignment because you get a dopamine boost when you have ticked off a task that you wanted to do and you've accomplished it. Some potential ways to boost your dopamine levels may be eat well. Dopamine is created by an amino acid. In rich foods may boost dopamine levels in your brain and improve your memory. And these are, of course, your legumes, your soy, your eggs, and for those who eat meat, sleep. Sleep deprivation has many side effects and can even impact dopamine receptors. 
Studies show that when people are sleep deprived, it makes it harder for them to get good quality sleep. So it's very important to keep your dopamine level balanced by prioritizing sleep because sleep is health and sleep increases positive feelings. Just check in with yourself. The days that I don't sleep well, I wake up irritable. I wake up feeling overwhelmed and I don't feel upbeat. Then I quickly check in with myself and I ask myself, are you taking care of your sleep? When I check in and I get my answer, I know what to do. I know what action to do, which is to prioritize my sleep. Meditate. We all love this word, don't we? Meditation is really an old practice of clearing our mind. We all are living in our heads most of the time, aren't we? Meditation just helps you train your mind, become more self-aware in a non-judgmental way. Although when we think about meditation, we typically think about just reducing anxiety or decreasing overall stress. But studies have shown that meditation has a positive impact on enhancing our dopamine levels. And that's why I make sure that I take out time during the day. You could be in a meditative state all, you know, throughout the day. You don't just have to do meditation in the morning. It's all about checking in with yourself, taking care of, of your mind, taking care of your thoughts. And again, being connected to who you really are, because this will really boost your dopamine levels. Next, listen to music. This is a great way, which I find very, very useful. Music is a great addition to alone time. I, when I'm feeling down and I'm not feeling very upbeat, I just go and listen to my favorite song. Listening to music increases our brain's activities in areas that are rich in dopamine receptors. And the brain then releases dopamine when we are feeling, when we're in an emotional state. And this, when you listen to your favorite song, it only makes you feel good. Next, how do we boost the happiness hormone serotonin? Serotonin is involved in many functions and behaviors such as memory, sleep, and stress response. Low levels of serotonin are associated even with depression. A common medication treatment is selective serotonin in inhibitors and serotonin and these inhibitors actually which, which help you increase our serotonin levels in the brain. Non F, F I'm very bad with this pronunciation, N-O-R-E-P-I-N-E-P-H-R-I-N-E. -E -E. Reuptake, these are inhibitors. So what we can do to increase our serotonin levels? Exercise. You've probably heard or experienced the runner's high after an intense workout. We all know that exercising is good for our health and our well-being. But why? 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 Because serotonin levels get significantly boosted after a good workout. And it could be any form of exercise that you like. This morning, I just did 100 jumping jacks. I did some stretching. I climbed steps about 10 times and I was ready for the day. Anything that you find interesting, it could be cycling, it could be walking, it could be skating, it could be weightlifting, whatever rocks your boat, as long as you get it done. You can get creative, attend a dance class or anything that brings you pleasure just to get your heart rate up. Because happiness requires action and I believe movement leads to happiness. So all you need to do is just get up and move your body for you to feel the serotonin high. Get a massage. Not only can a massage be extremely relaxing, but also increases your level of serotonin and dopamine. Short bits are when you, or when you take, they say that when you take let's say a time off in a week to get yourself a massage, it enhances your level of serotonin and you feel less anxious. And of course, eat well. An amino-rich diet will help you increase your brain serotonin and it's an effective antidepressant too for mild depression. Foods that will help you boost more protein. And of course, I'm not a a nutritionist but I can tell you foods that help me boost because I'm a meat eater help me boost my serotonin eggs something that really helps me feel good and that's the first thing that I eat in the morning how to boost your happiness hormone oxytocin also called my favorite the love hormone which plays a very important role in bonding both for children and for adults I have three children I have an almost an 18 year old and twin daughters and oxytocin Hormone is something that we're addicted to. These are many ways our body produces oxytocin. For example, a mother breastfeeding her newborn baby 
creates that close bond where she releases this hormone and feels good about her bond and few ways of showing affection considering oxytocin is a love hormone hormone physical intimacy boosts this hormone a, a hug a kiss holding hands can increase oxytocin production try blowing a kiss kiss at your partner and you see the magic cuddling your puppy sharing a long hug with your friend the benefit of that feel good hormone oh my god we've all experienced that haven't we connection your oxytocin levels increase when you talk to your loved ones or even think about that them you can also give compliments to them or do small random acts of kindness which go a long way it you feeling better throughout the day you will feel lasting happiness because you would have released the oxytocin hormone by taking simple action by doing small things that make people around you feel loved and cared for sharing in wild chimpanzees food sharing increases oxytocin levels regardless of whether they are close or not so why not cook for a friend or a neighbor or a loved one cooking is a great way of bonding over something delicious and a fun way of potentially enhancing our oxytocin levels how to boost the hormone endorphins endorphins also called the body's natural pain killers because they play an important role in the body's ability to manage pain and experience pleasure the body actually releases endorphins when an injury or something physically or something physical physical happens where you experience physical pain such as maybe you sprained an ankle or a deep cut However there are some things you can do to enhance and increase your endorphins eat a dark chocolate if you are a fan of dark chocolate you will know that eating just a small piece can stimulate the release of of endorphins just eating in moderation will help you with positive effects on your health laugh this is my favorite who doesn't like a good laugh Laughing is a great way to connect with others and to de-stress. We've forgotten really to laugh because we are so busy in our every single day lives. We are digitally so distracted that we forget that laughing is really medicine. Laughing is really therapy. You can watch your favorite comedy show with your loved ones. See a see a show that makes the whole family come together and laugh. Catch up with a friend who's funny and who cracks you up. All these simple activities are very powerful to boost the body's endorphins and play a role in our social bonding. Be active. Although moderate intensity exercise is the best way for boosting endorphins, it's not the only type of activity that has potential. You can dance at home. You can start doing when I'm feeling stressed or not upbeat, I just stop I pause I just start doing jumping jacks and I've even taught my children this you're feeling swamped just get up and move and do your jumping jacks or do any kind of physical activity that makes your body move and you will see in fact just the, just last week my husband and I went for a small hike and believe me it's had a lasting impact on us because we are feeling the bond we are feeling the closeness we are feeling the high the endorphin high because we did this exercise together so we also landed up releasing the oxytocin hormone the love hormone because together as a couple we did this small hike so doing exercises related to increase in levels of dopamine serotonin endorphins have been well established as benefits related to our mental and our physical health it is extremely important to just follow this and you will see magic happen in your life And if you want to learn more about these hormones please reach out to us we at happiness is love care we are here to support you if you are struggling with any aspect of your life whether it is your emotional health you want to boost your happiness you want to invest in your well-being we are here for you thank you thank you thank you for so much love support and encouragement we are eternally grateful keep smiling keep shining and keep inspiring